Ed Jamison here, CEO of Operation Kindness. Just wanted to take a couple of moments and let everybody know about a really, really important and impactful initiative that we started here at Operation Kindness. Um, with my background coming from the government sheltering world, I know that the need to offer some type of assistance to neonatal kittens is a very, very big need. Um, it's very labor intensive. We think that it is very worthwhile due to the amount of life saving that can be done for some of the most vulnerable populations in the shelter. So just wanted to take a minute and show our newly um, outfitted kitten nursery that was made possible by our generous, generous donors, Charles Duck Jones, Keith Halleck, huge, huge parts as well as all of the community that really answered the call when we were trying to get the last of the funding to get this up and running. Um, to operate this nursery, again, very staff heavy is labor, these animals have to be fed every two hours, um, and it's 24 hours throughout the day. So uh, without the support of the community and our great supporters, there's just no way we would have been able to even make this happen. But kitten season has arrived, and did want to show a little bit. I think it's important to note, though, that don't hear this and think to bring in kittens to Operation Kindness. Our focus is working with our partner shelters um, in the animal control world, that they, they are the ones who just don't have options for these, so that's who we're really trying to work with. So please don't hear this and start to, oh, let's just automatically bring, bring a bunch of kittens down to, to OPK. We're, we're working with our with our partners strategically so that we don't exceed the number that we're prepared for. But I just want to show you real quick some of the things that um, we have in order to make this happen. It's a lot of work, um, but we absolutely um, the, the worthwhileness for um, the animals. We've got incubators here helping to, um, you know, keep this little one comfortable. We know that they've been really struggling and every day are getting stronger. We've got sleeping babies happening over here. Um, every cage or every enclosure has a timer on it so that we stay. They're on different feeding schedules based on their size and their weight. Um, we've got more kittens over here. This might be the cutest kitten I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, and we know that's got a bunch of energy and look at those great big eyes. Absolutely love, love um, them and watching their progression. Um, every kitten is weighed in between every feeding. It's entered into the computer so that we can track its weight um, to make sure that they are progressing. And there's a lot of work between our staff over on this side and our medical team. Um, that when anything is needed, um, the teams are really working terrifically together. So you're going to hear a lot more about our kitten nursery as this progresses. Uh, we just opened a little over a week ago as far as this nursery and started bringing in, and we're, we're full already. I mean, we packed up our foster program, plays a huge part of this, that once we get the animals to a certain stage, so we can get them in the foster. And I can't thank our Operation Kindness foster in-house team as well as all of our fosters that have raised their hand to see how impactful this program is and how quickly you were to jump up and say yes get us kittens we want to do our part so again the before and after pictures of these things are just absolutely amazing things that can start this big and then uh, typically around eight weeks once they're able to get altered and get adopted they get adopted super fast and into loving homes um, we really just, you know, wanted to make sure that we were keeping you informed and really expressing our gratitude for the support to even make this happen. This is a big program for Operation Kindness. We've never had 24-hour operations before, so this is our first time tipping our, dip, dipping our toes into the water of this. Um, and even though it's a lot of work, it's going to be very impactful. I think it's going to help save a lot of lives in North Texas. So everybody, we um, look forward to seeing you. Take care, and we'll talk later.